in this video I'm going to explain how to kill Eisenberg with level 4 armor. Never mind the fact that I am using sharpened claymores and sharper, sharpened weapons in general. You can do this without the sharpening, it's just for extra damage. Um, the approach is the same as the video that I loaded previously, which is killing Eisenberg in level 5 armor. I'm just using less um, defense, a simple light shield, enough of claymores only for Eisenberg. The sharpened scimitar, scimitar is for Gidur, sharpened halberd is for Jaron, and I forgot the bastard sword in the second floor. I used the Bastard Sword for Acharvus and Golun, and half of the Bastard Sword is enough to kill the first two Templars, Acharvus and Golun, if you use the simple bow to put down the shield of Golun, so you can hit him more, actually doing more damage than hitting him always, and the shield taking most of the damage out. Um, but half a bastard sword is enough to kill him, both a Taurus and Glo. I'm going to use the strategy of, of using bandage every time Eisenberg strikes me and the bitter tinctures to for the waves. But in this case, I'm using my passives. I'm using unstoppable for Jaron, obviously. Mighty health, running speed. This is very important for the band bandage. More, more damage for Gitur when I use the Scimitar, more damage for the first two Templars when I use the Bastard Sword, and a little bit more healing when I use Honey and Jerky. I usually use this for Gitur and Jaron, and I use this for Atorus and Golun, or I may use this. I'm explaining all of this because I'm not going to talk during the fight. So I can be a little bit, bit more focused this time. So let's go. <clears> oh, <throat> I don't die. Oh, this is shit got me. 
Hope I don't die. <clears throat> I'm scared. <clears throat> or something. Nah, this is too risky. As you can see, I have this left to four band bandage, 29 jerky, only 3 juices, 4 bitter tinctures, honey. I think it was quite a good run. No books, I still have more books to farm from him, but it is obviously hard. When you get all the books, it is very hard to steal. I mean, the rate the drop rate of books is obviously less and less you're supposed to max out bastard sword and scimitar but i still have six instead of nine you're supposed to max out petrification and i still have eight you're supposed to max out running speed unstoppable if i'm not mistaken and Pathfinder, also I have a level 10 book twice. I'm not sure about this one, I think this one and this one are supposed to max out to, to level 10. And this is my number 63 or 62 ASM board. And I still have, um, as you can see, more rounds to go. I came out of to the province map just to check out the, the runs. It is my num my sixth number 63 ASM board. And as you can see, I still have I still can still going and in this I cannot tap into this because I am not away from the location. But if I do something like this, I can see the books. But since I'm away, I cannot confirm it. I might do it like later. To see the books, the, all the books that are supposed to drop from this dungeon, at least in normal mode. Well, the dungeon doesn't quite tell you which drops normal mode and which one drops heroic mode, but you're supposed to get at least petrification up to level 10. I may be mistaken, I don't know. I don't know of anyone who have maxed out level 10 petrification. But I have come here 63 times as you can see and I still I'm supposed to at the very least max out running passes. At least to 8, just like this ones. And this to level 8 too. 
and if I'm not mistaken, someone, a friend that also plays play, plays the game, told me that in normal mode you can max out scimitar and bastard sword and petrification. If I'm not mistaken and I'm remembering right, you should be able to go all the way to level 10, which is not max out because with the implementation of features, now it's level 15. The 10, I mean 10 was used to be the max cap of the skill. And the, and the maximum was num 9 for these weapons, now it's 15. Well, I came back to take the, the remnant, remnants or the remaining loot of the stir floor. And obviously, to say thank you if you watch all to the end. And see you in the next video. And goodbye. Thanks for watching.